Hey everyone, welcome back to Natural Curls for Life. Tracy here, and I am um, getting ready to wash my hair. Um, but I decided to do something that I haven't done since I began my lock journey. Um, I used to do it all the time as a loose natural. Um, it is cold out pretty much everywhere. Uh, it's colder than what it normally is this time of the year in Georgia um, so I think we're in trouble for winter but um, in any event uh, my hair has been a little drier um, this year um, already than it was um, last year uh, so what I've decided to do is wash my hair and um, then I'm going to sit under my steamer and hopefully that will help I, um, I'm also going to oil my scalp. I took my aloe vera uh, gel that I have mixed in here um, with the peppermint oil. I put some of that in this applicator bottle with um, castor oil and a little bit of avocado oil. It has tea tree oil and peppermint oil in it as well. So I'm going to put this in my scalp and then sit under the steamer. I'm not going to put the oil in my hair. I just want the steam to, you know, infuse my locks. Um, but I am going to put it in my scalp because my scalp is a lot drier. And I will show you guys what it looks like uh, once I come out of the steamer. I guess I'll show you my hair. Um, I interlocked it two weeks ago. Um, that was a week after Thanksgiving. And so this is what it looks like post two weeks of interlocking. So this is my hair and um, you can see a lot of my gray. I'm debating on if I'm going to uh, put henna in my hair again um, to cover up the gray. Um, the only reason the gray bothers me is because it looks like there's something in my hair. It, it gives my hair an appearance of, you know, build up or, or lint, you know and I just don't like that look. I think it just gives my hair a, a dirty look. See like here and it just looks like something's in my hair and that's actually my gray patch here and then I have a lot here in the middle. So uh, I'm debating on that. It won't be today but if I do it but um I will come back. I'm going to wash my hair and get under the steamer and I am not going to put a plastic cap over my head. Um, some people use a plastic cap which I don't know why because the purpose of sitting under the steamer is to let the steam um, soak into your hair for moisture. Okay so I'll be back. Okay guys, so I am back. I have sat under the steamer. Um, I pulled my hair up in a high ponytail and I sat under the steamer for five minutes with my hair up so that my ends could get the majority of the steam. And then I took that down and sat under there for about 10, 15 minutes with my hair down so the rest of my hair could get the steam and my scalp. So I put this t-shirt on to dry it as much as possible. You can see some water spots there. I am getting ready to go to work so I wanted to try to dry it as much as possible because it is cold outside so take this t-shirt off my hair feels light and fluffy yes nice and moisturized 
uh, feels much, much, much better. Much better. So, suggestion, if you have a steamer, if you have access to a steamer and your hair feels really dry, wash it, condition it, and sit under the steamer. And that's what I did. I washed it twice and I put my conditioner in it, left it in there for about five minutes in the shower while I, you know, did my regular showering. I rinsed out the conditioner and and then I sat under the steamer. So I oiled my scalp only. I didn't put oil throughout my locks, just my scalp, massaged it, and sat under the steamer. So this is the end result. It definitely looks more moisturized and it feels much better. So steaming is good. Um, like I said, I used to use it as a loose natural all the time. So I will start incorporating it into uh, my wash regimen with my locks, um, at least during the winter time. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will try it. If you've used a steamer on your locks, let me know down below how you liked it. If you haven't used a steamer, give it a try. I think you will really like it. I love it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. I love to interact with you all and I always respond back to comments. And as always, have a wonderful day.